Hello everyone, John from Titan Medical Center and today we want to thank our veterans. That's right, Veterans Day is here and we want to make sure we give all the gratitude and respect and honor to our great veterans of all the military branches out there. Thank you guys for your service. We appreciate it more than you know and everybody out there should be very grateful for our veterans because without our veterans fighting for our great country, we would not have the freedoms and the luxuries that we have today. And some people think the United States isn't so good. Well, I challenge you to go to some of these other countries and live there for a while and really see what bad is. Because you know what? I've been to some other countries and at that point, they have no freedoms like us in some instances. And at that point, they definitely don't have the luxuries that we have and we take for granted every single day. So, you see a veteran out there, go up to him, say thank you. Maybe, you know, if you're at Starbucks or whatever it is, purchase more coffee or a Big Mac or whatever it is, wherever you're at, show them the gratitude and show them that you're grateful for our freedoms and at least go up to them and say thank you for your service. We appreciate all you veterans out there from me, John, the CEO of Type Medical Center, all the way down to our medical staff, providers, and our athletes. We are grateful for your service and your sacrifice and thank you very much. What's up guys? Welcome to Tampa, Florida, the home of Type Medical Center headquarters. But don't worry, if you're not here in Tampa, Florida, we can still service you anywhere in the country nationwide. Just call our Texas, we'll be happy to take care of you. And we are here every single day for our patients, making sure our patients are taken care of, diligently looking after their health. And we are helping new patients get back on track with their health and fitness goals every single day. So come on for the behind the scenes look and what happens at Titan Medical Center and the inner workings of our staff helping our patients achieve optimal health every single day. Let's go. And let's walk through the doors. So when you walk through the doors of Titan Medical Center, you're gonna see our awesome staff here at the front desk offering our patients and our guests a water, a free t-shirt, and a Titan swag bag. We're all about giving to our patients and our people that come in here. It's a family environment as far as that goes, and we want to treat every single person, our guests, like family when they come in Titan Medical Center. So when you come in here, you'll get to meet some of our awesome staff up front, sign you in, getting you your information, and getting you all prepared for seeing a Titan medical provider or getting your questions answered when you come in the door. So come on, let's go behind the door and let's see what goes on behind the scenes. So come on in here and check out some of the staff. We are working every single day for our patients, making sure they're taken care of, following up on their regimens, and making sure that they're hitting their health and fitness goals. We want to be accountable for our patients and make sure that they're accountable for their health and providing them the best results they possibly can get. And with the support that they need too, patient care and support is vital. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of you to the fullest extent and to the tight medical center standard every single day. So we walk down the hallway, we obviously see uh, some of our studio area where some of the magic gets uh, made in here with our shows. We got big art in here. And of course, I've got Andreas behind the camera right now, rock and rolling, so we can capture some cool content for you guys and show you what happens behind the scenes. I think every single time a video comes out, you know, it might be of a lifestyle event or of a, you know, educational therapy or whatever it may be. And at that point, people really don't get to see the inner workings. They always see the final result, right? Uh, it was my goal today to be able to take you guys through Type Medical Center and show you kind of some of the inner workings and how we're working 24 seven for our patients to make sure that they're getting their goals, hitting what they want to health-wise uh, and getting taken care of as far as the Titan standard. So in here we have some of our medical providers and we have Ashley in here, who's the king of trades as far as Titan Medical Center. Um, so that's kind of what it is back here. We're always just taking care of patients and making sure we're straight. We've got Meech back here, Michelle. Michelle is your lab coordinator. She'll schedule for appointment. She's one of our medical assistants here. 
So we want to cordially invite you guys to come down to the Titan Medical Center facilities, check out our awesome staff, check out our awesome therapies, and see how we can help you guys live optimal and healthy every single day, hitting your health and fitness goals like you guys want, right? Because results matter. So please come check us out. And don't worry, if you're not local here in the Tampa area, we can still service you nationwide. All you have to do is call or text us at 727-389-3220 and live the Titan lifestyle today. Hey guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center. I want to talk to you guys today about hormones, testosterone in particular. So I have a lot of questions from friends, family, and my patients. Should I test my hormones? Well, that's a great question. I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed, not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain. Those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We as human beings, naturally, our testosterone can decrease with age, illnesses, with medication and lifestyle choices such as you know being overweight, obesity, lack of exercise. So some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones such as your testosterone can be increasing your quality of life, being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often, also having better energy levels, being less irritable, increasing your sexual health, increasing overall wellness, decreasing fat, increasing muscle mass, increasing muscle gain, decreasing insulin resistance. So evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test. We can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up, guys? John here from Titan. And today I want to talk about the holidays. It's officially November, right? And then we've got Thanksgiving and we've got Christmas coming up. So what does that mean for us? That means a lot of good food and a lot of family time probably, right? So we want to make sure that we're having self-control during these time periods. It's real easy to get lost and overindulge or overeat during these time periods. And this could cause weight gain, inflammation, and other things that come along with overeating and eating bad foods, right? Because not all the foods you're going to see at Thanksgiving are technically healthy for you. They might taste really good going down, but might be really bad in the long run for your health or for short-term health effects, right? So when we talk about this, make sure we're following some pretty easy standards. One, self-control. You gotta have self-control out there, right? You might see everything you like, but you can't indulge in everything out there, especially if it's bad for you. You gotta make sure you're getting limited runs on some of these foods or drinks, right? The next thing, portion control. So even if you're going to indulge on all these different foods, only get a little bit from each. Sample each. Don't go crazy and gorge on all these delicious morsels. They're going to probably cause you more weight gain and more problems in the future for your health. Right? So these are just some of the things you'd be conscientious about. And the other thing about it is, is if you're going to overindulge, make sure you're planning for a time period to expend that energy, that's right. So calories are actually energy for our body. But if we don't use those calories, they get stored as fat. So use those calories for good, not bad, right? So there's just some of the tips and tricks I'm trying to give you guys to have a successful holiday run, having a pleasant time, but not overindulging on the things that will be detrimental to your health or to your weight moving forward. And remember, tight medical center therapies can help you through some of these challenging times too as well. Whether it's challenging or taming 
that hunger that you have, right? Because some people get really hungry or when they see great food, it just turns and revs up that hunger factor even more. So you could look at some of our different therapies like Aries, our semi-glutide weight loss therapy, Prometheus, ECAs, AOD 9604, and a lot, lot more. If you want to know more about some of these different therapies, please call or text us at 727-389-3220 or even read about them at tightmedicalcenter.com. Remember, I've got all these great videos on our therapies and more over on YouTube. Just go over, type in Tight Medical Center, hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and you guys will get all that cool content and more. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a great November or start to November, and I hope you guys have a great holiday season. All right, guys, I'm John from Titan, and I'll be back with more videos, giving you guys great information on how to be healthier, stronger, and better each and every day. All right, guys, Saturday night. Before Halloween, we're out here at Pipe Vibers, on Halloween Carnival. I got my crew here, my best friend Eric's out here, right? And I see the Titans here, Big Juice here. We got Jordan Ding here, and a lot, lot more. Of course, my beautiful wife is here rocking. My name's Juicy. I'm a White Sox fan, but that's okay. I'll let her go. Anyway, we're out here. This is some great music, right? Life is all about balance. So make sure you guys are having some fun doing it, right? You only get one chance to be here, so live a healthy lifestyle, but right, enjoy yourself. Enjoy. What's up guys, John here and at Titan Medical Center, we want to help you guys know as much as you possibly can to be educated about all the therapies we offer. So there's a lot of common questions we deal with and there's a lot of myths out there. So let's debunk one of the top myths out there that I hear all the time. Testosterone replacement therapy is going to make you infertile. This is not true. So let's debunk it and let's talk about it. So when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, whether it's medically supervised, or you're not doing it right and might be getting it from somebody else, which is totally off and I would never recommend that. And you might be doing something that might hurt you or might be injecting something that might not be good for your body unless it's medically supervised and coming from a US licensed pharmacy and we know exactly where it is. So let's get that straight off. But when we talk about testosterone, a lot of people say testosterone will make you infertile if you take it. This is so untrue. It's very untrue, and I want you to know that, and let's debunk the myth and tell you the reason why people might be coming up with a myth. This is the reason. If you take testosterone and you're not taking testosterone correctly, so let's say you get prescribed testosterone and that's all you're taking, or you're doing this some other way, shape, or form at your curricular, and at that point you're just injecting testosterone. What happens? So when you take testosterone, from any transportation rate, whether it's an injection, whether it's oral, whether it's a cream, whether it's a patch, your body is recognizing this. Your body is super adaptive, right? It knows what's going on all the time and it tries to do the best for you it can possibly can. So when it sees an outside source of testosterone comes to the body, the brain is not stupid and recognizes this. Now, there's a signal that goes from your brain down to your testes, your testicles, right? And that signal is keep going. And basically the brain is talking to the testicles and the testicles are producing testosterone throughout the body. But when you take an outside source and start putting it into the body, your brain then recognizes that. And then it shoots the message down to the testes and it says, listen, 
we don't need you to do this because we already got it coming in from somewhere else. The tester is like, okay, I'm going on vacation. See you later. Let me know when we can help out. What happens at that point? So then the testes start going through atrophy. That's right. They start shrinking. A lot of cells get shut down. So what happens is, is you're not producing testosterone with your testes, but more importantly, your semen production is getting get lowered, right? You see where I'm going with this, right? So when you have a lower semen production, you're not shooting as much, right? And this is a common problem because we want the volume of semen to be large. So when you shoot, you're actually going to hit targets out there and you have a lot of swimmers going to complete this mission, right? And that's for fertility to get someone pregnant. But if you're on testosterone and you're only on testosterone, this can definitely lighten the volume which is getting produced and going to try to get fertile that egg. So with this, this is where the really true myth comes into play because people that are on testosterone can still get people pregnant. I've heard people out there say, well, I'm on testosterone. I don't have to worry about birth control or anything like that. That is so untrue, guys. Even for me, my son, Peter, I was on testosterone replacement therapy and happily and easily got my wife, Sharice, pregnant with him on testosterone replacement therapy. We've had so many other patients out there get their loved ones pregnant on testosterone replacement therapy. But the whole point is you have to do it correctly. So if you're just taking testosterone, like I said, the brain and the body are gonna recognize this. The signal is gonna get shut off to the testicles. And at that point, your testicles are gonna go through atrophy and lower serum production is gonna happen. So it might be a lot harder to get your partner pregnant. Now, when you say, well, how can I do testosterone replacement therapy and still get my pregnant or my partner pregnant? So you're gonna need some sort of gonadal support. Something that's going to keep that signal going down to the testes and trick it even if you're on testosterone. There's medications out there and therapies out there that we offer with our hormone replacement therapy for patients. So this never happens, okay? Nobody likes to have little puny raisins down there, right? It can be uncomfortable, it can be tight, and it's just not good for overall optimal health. So at this point, you wanna look at some of these gonadal support agents and medications out there, Enclomiphene, ATG, Kispeptin. These are different ones out there that we utilize for our patients to make sure everything is working correctly down low. Making sure that the quality of life and the optimal fertility levels are still there too as well. Plus, serum production. So I hope this has helped you out debunking the myth that testosterone makes you infertile. This is so untrue. Don't believe it, guys. It is not a fact. It is a fact that you can still get people pregnant when you're on testosterone, right? And you should have gonadal support to make sure that the semen production and volume is still up. Just another tip and fact from us here at Titan Medical Center to you guys, I hope it's helped. If you guys like this tip, make sure you guys are tuned in for the next one because I got all kinds of great information that I'm gonna share with you guys. Love you, I appreciate it. If you wanna become a patient, just call or text us 727-389-3220 and check out our website for all other great information about this therapy and more at titanmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon and I'm out. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife right here... I'm not little. ...are bringing you guys great <laughs> tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole new level. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry. This will set you up, hopefully, for a future successful relationship with your partner. All right. So let's get into this week's topic. So every week, me and my wife are bringing you guys topics that either we come across with somebody that we know or something that we've had in the past, like, you know, or we went through. Um, so this week, you know, I, I got some inspiration from somebody that I was talking to. But, oh, boy. Yeah. yeah but, tell me the story later. Yeah, but, you know, I'll tell you the story now. I didn't say his <laughs> name. But, um, you know, I, I started talking to him yesterday and stuff like that, and he, you know, he brought up some points, you know. Um, why affection is very important to give. Right? When you're in a relationship, when you're dating, uh, when you're married, all these things, you know, when you're going through these these times, right, with your partner, 
it's really, really important to keep showing affection. No matter if it's the first date or you're 20 years into a relationship yeah. or marriage or whatever it is. And, you know, over time, you know, things might dull down a little bit, right? Um, you know, it's not the honeymoon phase. And, you know, you guys have your busy lives and routines out there. And, you know, sometimes you might forget about the affection portion, right? Um, and, the, you know, the touching or, you know, the emotional relationship too as well because that goes along with affection. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about this, we talk about affection. And this is giving to your partner, whether it's a kiss, a hug, you know, a talk to, right? You know, because emotional affection can happen too as well mm -hmm. when you're complimenting them or talking to them about something nice about themselves. Um, so it's really important. And this gives your, your your partner confidence in the relationship, in you. That you still love them. Yeah, Or right? you still think that they're sexy or you yeah. still think that they're hot, you know? Well, they don't have an expiration date. Yeah, I don't have an expiration date. John needs to tell me that. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I personally like when John just, you know, just barely just pinches my butt when I walk by. It's yeah, cute. And I'm like, yeah. oh, you, you still love me? You, yes. think I'm, you think I'm sexy? You know, it also <laughs> has your partner that, yeah, you're thinking about him, right? You know, it's not just, oh, bye and see you later. Um, you know, so when I was talking to this person, he was telling me about his relationship. And he was saying, that, you know, he's married. He's been married for over 20 years. Uh, loves his wife and everything like that. But the wife doesn't show him any affection, right? He hasn't shown affection in years, right. right? And so we were talking because he was going on some therapies and mm. such. And when we were talking about the therapy, I told him because he wanted to go on testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy. He's over 50 years old, right? His levels are low, right? And he's doing everything right now, exercising properly, nutrition properly, sleeping. He's doing all these great things. He's got a business going for himself and the whole nine. Very proud of him. But he wants to take it to a different level. He wants to feel better every single day. So at that point, he did the blood testing. It showed low levels, came in with the provider. Now he wants to go on hormone replacement therapy. He started, bam. He started, right? And I told him, I said, He's ready for some bam, bam. In two weeks, right, <laughs> your engines are going to be revved up. You're going to turn the back the clock on the internal side, and you're going to feel like you're in your 20s, man, maybe early 30s, whatever it is. But you're going to feel revved up, whether it's libido action, physically, right, uh, with maybe more erections or all these things that are going to come along with it. And you're, you're going to want some relationship. He's going to need some partner. affection. You're going to need some affection. He's going to um, need more than affection. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, with that, you know, the, the, the partner just doesn't want to do anything with him. Like, you know, like, he's like, you know what? He's like, I don't know what to, feel, I don't know what to say about this or feel like it. It feels like it's just a, a partnership, right? Oh, we've, that we've been, gets tough, We've been too. married for 20 years and we have all these things attached to each other. So it's almost like a business relationship and it's not even like, you know, a loving marriage anymore, right? So, you know, I, I feel for him. I'm like, man, I'm like, you know, this sucks. I'm like, you really, you know, he's trying to go out of his way to do the right thing and, and be right by her and everything like that. But there's certain things that people need, right? Humans that were put on this earth, we have needs of, 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 of things, right? Whether it's relationships or... Need to be cared or about, love, feel love, important. Right? You want to be. Right. Not everybody gets that, but the people that do, like, they want it, right? Everybody, I think, searches for that. Everybody has a, a romantic... Uh, fantasy of some sort of who they want and how they want to be treated out there. So with this, you know, I told the guy, I'm like, listen, I'm like, you got to, you know, do what you're going to do. But I was like, you know, remember. Communication. Communication. But if you communicate this to your partner and they're not reciprocating or don't want to yeah. reciprocate, then what are you going to do, right? Because, you know, my thing to him was I said, listen, you know, you have one life, right? So if you go through the rest of your life and you're 50 years old right now, say, let's say you got 25 good years left and you're going to die at 75, wow, maybe 30, time. 80, right? That's good time there. It, it, you got some good amount of time left in your life, right? <laughs> and you want to make sure that while you can do these things and live right and give 100% in all aspects, that you're able to do this and you're going to enjoy life. So that's the other thing about it, right? You got to talk to your partner and say, listen, you know, this is the main complaints or this is what we really have to fix because this is how I'm feeling. And like I said, they should want to, you know, reciprocate or some way, shape or form, communicate back to you on maybe what they can do or what can happen. Because some people, you know, they have health problems or health issues and they can't perform different things. Right. Um, so but that, that's where other things come into play, though, right? Aspect, I mean, yeah. it's not all physical. I mean, as soon as you hear affection, you think like physical. Yeah. It's not all physical. It's definitely mental and being able to connect with them, sure. talk with them. For sure. You know, you're putting time aside for them, like even carving out time for them is technically giving them affection because you're showing them, hey, you're important and you know, I, I want to know how your day went or whatever it is. And me personally, I have some like solid rules, right? And you guys should have solid rules too, right? And they're, they're such, they're the smallest, like itty bittiest rules, 
but there are rules, right? And every once in a while, I, I miss the rule, and, I, I, and it makes me think, especially since John usually falls asleep before me, um, you know, one of the rules is I, I always give him a kiss goodnight. You know, like it's unless he's already sleeping, then I'm like, oh, well, miss that boat. But typically it's like, you know, always give me a kiss that night. Hey, I love you. Give me a kiss that night. Right. Same thing in the morning. You know, hey, I love you. Give me a kiss in the morning. It's just a rule. And that's my rule. Right. So that everybody else, you can make up your own rule of like, OK, every day I'm going to do this one thing and I'm going to dedicate to remember to do this one thing. It could be something as small as that. And you're showing them like, hey, listen, I love you. I still care for you. It needs to be a real kiss, not like a just a, a fake kiss. You know, the fake. I know you guys know what fake kisses are. You know, and when you're out in public, you hold hands. And, you know, if you're in bed, maybe snuggle or, you know, these little things that, you know, th that you do, I think makes a huge difference in a relationship. Huge yeah. and small, small things, yeah. small things. The minor things uh, make big details. That's all I like to say. It. Oh. You know, small things add up to a big result, right? So it's important every single day that you're doing these things. And if you forget one day, listen, make up for, for the next day, maybe a double, right? In the morning, <laughs> maybe at night, whatever it is. And show an affection, like could be cooking dinner too as well. Mm -hmm. It could be getting flowers. You know, it could be taking them to a special place that maybe you and them share. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, right? Uh, it's just something that you're doing that's genuine from your heart, from your soul. And that will come across to your partner, I, I think, in, in more ways than one. And uh, they'll really appreciate these things. And like I said, hopefully they'll reciprocate right back to you. And that will make you feel better too as well. Write him a letter. And that, that brings both Write people Write him a up. note. Leave him a love note. Anything. Anything. Anything to start, right? It could be anything. Bring them, bring them food. Pick up after them. Do some laundry. Yeah. It's the little things that, you know, you might take for granted. But then you realize, oh, yeah, you know, I appreciate that. Like, I love that about him or, you know, her or whatever it is. I do believe, though, like, you know, physical touch is, is going to be a key it's thing definitely when I'm talking a key. about this. Yeah. Affection, like I said, can be emotional. You can talk about it and all these different things. But true touch, right? And that doesn't mean you have to have sexual relations. But that is like, you know, you hugging, you kissing, um, you holding hands, right? Or uh, scratch his or, back. Or cuddling or whatever. Or whatever massage his feet. <laughs> makes you guys feel good. <laughs> yeah, see, these, these are different things. So, so uh -huh. these, are, these are the secrets. You guys want to know the secrets? Yeah. Just scratch his back. Yeah, yeah. scratch my back. Yeah, he's going to uh, love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, do this all night. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in a limited time, so... <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> that was easy. So, guys, remember these tips and tricks and, you know, put them in the back of your brain. Write them down somewhere. Put them on a voice memo so you can replay them and you can, you know, get all these things down. So when you do get in your relationship or if you're in a relationship right now, you can start adding these things in the relationship, hopefully. Or maybe you're not in the situation that we've talked about. But maybe you might be there in the future. And then when you get to that point, you'll be able to bring these tools out of your tool bag and be able to use them the right way. And you'll have, hopefully, a successful relationship um, be loving, be happy, and uh, you and your partner will have a great time together too. So that is it for our Cupid's Corner. We're coming at you guys every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you don't get to watch us live, DVR it. And if you don't do that, make sure you guys are going to our YouTube. You guys can check out all the cool Cupid's Corners there and a lot of other cool content that we have from Titan Medical Center. And if we can help you guys out in any way, shape, or form, with relationships, libido, or anything else, Please call or text us at 727-389-3220. We'll be happy to get you guys back on track, feeling better, looking better, and performing better. I'm down. Let's do it. All right, guys. <laughs> so I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.